My wood turners, woodworkers, I'm here. What's today? Tuesday. Um, we had this all down. Tuesday, Tuesday, March 9th. They say 58 degrees here in northern PA today. I'll take it. It's about time. It's been a long winter. So, after the last couple days kicking around, around a lot of stuff, talking to a few people, the contest is on. What I put on YouTube. Uh, we decided to have a little contest for anybody who wants to get into the fund to make a candle holder. Now, I just wrote this real quick, so I'm going to have to keep going to this because I don't know what I wrote. Um, it can be made by a wood turner or a woodworker. If you want to sit there and chisel out one, that's up to you. We'll accept it. I will only accept one picture, so take your best one. I can't be flooded with a bunch of pictures because i got a feeling it's going to be a lot to go through as it is. When you send me your picture to my email, I will assign it a number. If you're number one, I'm going to send it to my photo editing hardware and put number one right on your picture. And that's what you'll see on YouTube when they flash through is number one, number 16, number two, it all depends if they're in order or not. But anyway, that way, no one else will know it's yours, so don't tell anyone. Not even the judges will know who's who. They're going to see your candle uh, holder, and they're going to see a number. We will accept international entries. Um, they, too, get a number. And the two judges that volunteered, they're not going to know whether it's USA or international, and they're not going to know the names, like I said. So that way, it'll be fair all the way around. So this will give you beginners some, yeah, some practice and uh, making your coves and your beads and whatnot. That's, that's good practice for that. I yesterday decided if I can get down here, I'm going to make one myself. I'm not going to enter, but I wanted to have it done by today. To, but I just glued together two white ash, an oak, Two black walnut. I gotta square it up. And I, I, and the only reason I'm making one is I didn't need a big uh, candle holder because all the beeswax we handle, I decided to make some candles for my aunts and whatnot. So this is gonna hold one of these big boys that we just made. It smells, it smells like the church. So anyway, I am gonna make one, and I'm gonna, I hope I can get on it today, but. Just to give you an idea, but it doesn't have to be this hefty. You can use a piece of one inch by one inch, you know, whatever you want to do. So, I want to show you that. Now I got off track. Um, you'll send your picture to axwoodpaste at yahoo.com. Let's leave that the same. One picture. And I said I will sign in the number, and then when I do, I will email you back. Your number's 15 even though I won't have to because you're going to recognize your work on YouTube when they clash, but I'm going to anyway. You're number two, you're number three, whatever. Um, okay, I sent out some emails yesterday and I got two pretty well-known wood turners to volunteer as judges. I thought they'd want to be in it, which they probably do, but obviously they can't be in it and judge. But they volunteered and I'm real happy with it. So. We've got some experienced wood turners that are uh, volunteer to be judges, and they are Tanya Becker of Tanya Becker's Wood Turning in Oregon, and uh, Rob of Hodgepodge, and we might even let his beaver have a say in it. I don't know yet. <laughs> and uh, those two are going to be our judges, so I'm happy about that. They know their stuff, so you're in good hands there as far as being fair. It isn't going to be easy because some are going to be nice in this way, and so I would want to judge it, but shh. <laughs> so, okay, so that's the judges. Uh, now, we're going to make two winners. They're going to pick two winners. The first place, we're going to give away another Hurricane half inch bull gouge, USA only. Sorry, I just can't ship that overseas. The second place will be for an axe paste kit, 
And that'll be for USA or international. We'll, we'll send the PACE kit overseas to countries that we're allowed. Some of them are shut down because of COVID, I hear. So, but we'll worry about that when we get there. So, two, a first place and a second place. Like I said, USA only's first place bull gouge. Second place is USA and international for a paste kit. Okay, the holder can be turned, whittled, or whatever. It can be wood. It can be all resin. It can be wood and resin mixed. The hybrid. You can make a handle on it. I don't care as long as it's a candle holder. So that takes care of that. For you people that like mixing your resins and woods together and that, because there's a lot of you now. Now, the deadline, which I have to go by this pretty strict. The deadline to send me your pick will be April 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. April 7th is a Wednesday. Today is, what did I say? The 9th. So you have almost a month to make your, make your holder and get it in by April 7th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That way, we're going to announce the winner Saturday, April 10th. Probably about 11 a.m. on YouTube. Um, so that gives them guys two days to make a final decision on from your final April 7th to April 10th when I announce it. So that will give the judges a couple days to meal over it and figure out what's what and get the two winners back to me. So... You've got from today until April 7th at 8 p.m. to send me one picture. No videos. One picture. So make it your best shot. So, okay, and I will kind of write all these up and <coughs> uh, maybe I will. Because you can just, I'm having some people not even watch my videos to check it to see if I'm not sure. I just had one guy uh, for Sunday say congratulations to all your winners, and he was one of the winners. So obviously he didn't read up above or he didn't watch the video. So I'm trying to get a hold of him. And I said I wasn't going to do that, but I even found him on Facebook. But it uh, he loses it tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So anyway, I don't want, that's, that's that. So get to turning, you guys. That's it. Uh, I think I covered everything. There shouldn't be any questions on it. But when you get it turned, like I said, send it to me at xwoodpaste at yahoo.com. All right? Okay, good luck. Have fun. Do some nice work. Now you beginners have a chance to really try your stuff. Okay, take care. Bye.